uh, given the data which is appearing on the screen there, in this video I'm going to draw a scatter plot and find the Pearson score relation for efficient. So to do that, I'll click on the return key so that I enter this data. So I'll start by entering the x is equals to, then open brackets, then I enter those values there. Then I go on and run, and we see that uh, on the x has 12 values. Then I go on and enter the y, so it's y is equals to, then open brackets, then enter those values of y. Then I go on and run, and we have the y there, yes, uh, 12 values. Now I now go on and uh, draw a scatter plot. In general, a scatter plot may review positive correlation, negative correlation, or no correlation. And the command for a scatter plot is scatter. Open parenthesis, and we are looking at the scatter plot of x. This is y. Then I go on and run. And here we have our scatter plot. And uh, what we are seeing there is for high values of x, they are associated with low values of y. We have some form of negative correlation. It's just giving us a picture of the data that we are having. I go on and click the return key. We now want to find the Pearson's correlation coefficient. So the command for the Pearson's correlation coefficient is C-O-R-R. Then open parenthesis. Now we enter the values of uh, the x and the y. But for this command, the x and the y must be column vectors. What we enter here are row vectors. So to change them to column vectors, we just uh, take the transpose so it to be just a prime. Take a single quote, so it's x, then prime. It transposes the x so that it uh, changes from a row vector to a column vector. Then comma, y. Change the y to a column vector, then put uh, the single quote there. By default, uh, this command uh, call x, y finds uh, the Pearson's correlation coefficient. So there's no need to put any options here. Since we are being asked to find the Pearson's correlation coefficient, then I go on and run. And we have uh, the correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.8493. The sign of the correlation coefficient determines whether the correlation is positive or negative. In this case, we are having our sign there is a negative, so we are having negative correlation. And the magnitude of the correlation coefficient determines the strength of the correlation. In this case, the magnitude there is 0 0.8493. What it is indicating there is we are having a strong negative correlation. So now going back to the command here for the correlation coefficient. As I indicated, we can put some options here. So I can put comma. So for example, if we wanted to change the type of correlation coefficient that we were looking at, I will click on where it says type here. Then after type, we would have the type of correlation. Pearson, which you said by default, if you do not specify, like what you did uh, when you found the minus 0 0.8493, we did not specify. So by default, it calculated the Pearson's correlation coefficient. But if we need uh, Kendall's uh, correlation coefficient, then we'll specify Kendall here. Or if we need Spearman's correlation coefficient, then we specify Spearman. But in this case, our question was saying Pearson's correlation. So I'll just say Pearson. But this will not change our result because by default, if you do not specify that it's Pearson, it calculates Pearson's correlation coefficient. So I can just run and you see that this figure will not change. So I run and we still get the minus 0 0.8493. Just because by default, it calculates the Pearson's correlation coefficient. If you need the other coefficients, then you will need to change here where we wrote the Pearson. 